that is wonderful. You get a really nice view too. <laughs> I'm beating the materials. Ah! Here they come! We've got three big buildings going on, a main road. Oh, I missed that jump again. I'll slap my nuts and call me Sally. Look at that. Uh, it's kind of grody, isn't it? Hello, gamers, and welcome back to Satisfactory. I uh, spent two and a half hours recording yesterday, and then when I was done recording, discovered that I never pressed the record button in the first place. So we lost that footage. Basically, all we did was a ton of research in the MAM and completing tier four. And part of that is thanks to us getting the Novelisk detonator. And I used that Novelisk detonator to blow open this cave entrance over here, which led us to a quartz deposit. And go ahead and grab some of that. And that's what allowed me to craft things like these uh, blade runners, which help me jump and run. Here's the Novelisk detonator. The game doesn't actually require you to get sulfur or quartz this early in the game. I just do it because it unlocks all this cool stuff. And for me, the extra mobility is super convenient. And that's also what we did is went ahead and uh, found a sulfur node and hooked that up. I'll go ahead and uh, ride over there and show you. Just one short little pull ride away. And here we are at the Schmelko power plant. This baby has been supplying all the power for all my factories since I constructed it. And you can see way over there in the distance on top of that mountain that I'm pointing at right now, we have a sulfur deposit. And I've been leading that way over here so that I can grab all the sulfur I need. For tier four, I tapped into this coal node over here. And I basically just manually came with a truck at first and then I just came with my inventory and picked up all the coal I needed and then brought it back home and I'll show you my little steel factory that I had going on. Oh, 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 the bouncy back saved us. Thank you, sir. Maybe I shouldn't be shooting them. They actually are gentle creatures. All right, back at the factory, we have this small little foundry set up here and you can see the coal and the iron going in here and we have a little manifold set up for them here I just throw in all the coal that we harvested and here comes the steel ingots they will trans transfer over here and we're making steel beams steel pipes and basically for tier 4, the only new things that we needed were steel beams and steel pipes, as you can see here. So we unlocked advanced steel production, which gives us a new miner. We unlocked expanded power infrastructure, so we got power towers now. We got hyper tubes, we got upgraded conveyor belts, and we got the blueprint designer, which I am most excited about. And I think today... Since we lost that footage, I'm just going to go ahead and redesign everything and go crazy with these new things that we've unlocked while going ahead and setting up a machine to get us towards completing phase two. At long last, the blueprint designer is here. She's a real beaut, mate. Bonk. Bonk. Oh yeah, we also sunk all that alien protein that we got in the last episode. It was something like 30 alien protein. We got a ton of tickets, which I used to purchase pretty much all these foundation pieces, as well as a lot of the organization stuff. Alright, so I've made a basic power tower blueprint so that I can run power over to my power plant. And uh, you can see I've made a little foundation so that it's attached to the grid here. And just like that, we got a power tower. The advantage of the power tower is that it can be extended much greater distances than just normal power poles. Let me go ahead and uh, demonstrate by removing these power poles here. And we can smack down another one of these power towers and 
hook that up there. And that is an astounding distance we got between two power towers. This is what the blueprint looks like. Oh, I'm being attacked. But you can see I did the uh, platform variety so that we can climb up here. Get a nice view. And ride the ride the power lines. Here we go. Whee! Bonk! In order to facilitate faster building of the factory, I have made some large concrete foundations. So what I'm constructing is essentially a gigantic canvas that I will paint my factory upon. The factory which we will live, work, and die at. Because we are very dedicated workers. Trees don't do that, silly. <laughs> I'm beating the materials. Ah! Here they come! Oh, that was weird. I've never seen that kind of thing before. Oh, it's just too long. Damn it. Well, the convenient thing about blueprints now is that you can dismantle the whole dang thing. Oh, it's so nice. Okay, and then I can go ahead and connect this guy all the way out there. Yes, okay. Just long enough. You can go ahead and remove this old infrastructure now. And we have the big power towers going. It also makes it a lot easier to ride the cables. You don't have to jump nearly as much. It's basically just three hops over and we're there. Well, maybe four. Oh, that is wonderful. You get a really nice view too. I feel like the power plant has not been given enough attention, so I might go ahead and give this a little glow up. See what I can do. All right, gamers, I've accumulated a ton of biomass. Well, rather a ton of biomass soon to be because we have a ton of leaves and a ton of wood. And I have made something, as you can see here. I've been a little bit busy with our very first factory building, the biomass building. Welcome in, welcome in. So essentially, left side here are our inputs and here are our outputs and you can see we get a little window into the factory over here so I haven't actually tested it yet so I'm just gonna go ahead and throw in some wood here and that should make biofuel for us I chuck in leaves here that should make biofuel mycelia also a good option although I probably wouldn't be likely to use that but I just wanted to you know cover all my bases with the biomass building and here we have a charcoal maker if we want to use charcoal for any reason we can do that here and let me show you a little bit behind the scenes here's our conveyor belts you can see each one loading up in here and we have our very first set of constructors here these are going to turn the wood and the leaves into biomass which is then going to be transferred over to this constructor here which is going to make the solid biofuel. You can see that's starting to happen right now. Mycelia also goes into this one to make biomass, which will also be converted into solid biofuel. But meanwhile, over here, and now you can see that is already happening and we are producing solid biofuel. And now we're also producing coal. So if we want to, we can get coal this way, although I'm probably way more likely to just find a coal node. All right, but you can see we also have a little light switch here to control these two lights overhead. So yeah, that's all you do. You come in here, throw in your inputs, and then you can see over here we're getting our outputs. Wonderful. Very first factory done. Well, I should say the very first factory building 
And obviously I've colored everything green for biomass. As a little additional feature on the biomass building, I have added a color cartridge maker. Just chuck in our leaves right here. Oh, you can see it's starting to get to work. Draining these flower petals. And in just a second, yep, we're getting color cartridges. So here we have a, a blue, basic blueprint for a multi-purpose constructor. And this is the way I like to build it, where my inputs and my outputs are on the same side. So everything that I'm putting in goes through this central belt, splits into these two rows of constructors. And then on the end of the constructors, the outputs come out here. And when you put this in a factory, you can merge them if you want to. But this will save me all the time of building all the constructors with all the manifolds. So I'll just save it as a blueprint for a multi-purpose constructor. And it is one layered. And go ahead and give that a little icon. Wonderful. Da da da. Da 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 da. Da da, da da, yeah. Ow! Well, slap my nuts and call me Sally. We are back. But anyway, the biomass building is going great. As you can see, we are producing shit tons of biomass. We also have a ton of coal, and this thing is barely even dipped into the wood. It's just going. She's chugging along. So as you can see, I've been working a little bit on the infrastructure of the factory. Over here, I'm developing a little bit of a... It's sort of a multi-purpose factory. Everything in here, I'm just going to place as a temporary structure. And this is much better to have it in a contained area rather than having all these machines just dotting the place. Never mind that those machines are dotting the place. This is my old... Uh, steel factory. I can go ahead and take this apart. A really nice feature in the new update is a dismantle filter so I can set to modern railing and then do my mass dismantle and I don't have to worry about accidentally dismantling the floor or any of my other stuff. Anyway, I went ahead and took care of that. So that factory is no longer there. You can see I've been working on developing these roads as well. Go ahead and add these dotted lines along the whole way. Alright, I got some more alien DNA to throw into the sink machine over here. Speaking of which, have y'all ever looked at... Look at that. Uh, it's kind of grody, isn't it? Like... Damn. They did some detail work on the textures in this game, I swear. Alright, five coupons. I think it would be cool if, as I start building these dedicated factories, I kind of just let them continue to build up, and maybe I edit them and make them look nicer as I get access to new parts. But I was thinking how cool it would be if this whole factory complex just kept growing and growing into the sky and eventually was just like, I don't know, like a cyberpunk city or something. Anyway, this building is going to be my building for the space elevator parts. We're going to design factories that will help us get the 500 uh, smart plates first and foremost. Wonderful. The basic factories that I made here are starting to work and we're getting some rotors and smart plates. Or, uh, reinforced plates, rather. You can see we've got a shit ton of color cartridges now that all those flower petals have been processed. And since I made all this coal, I might as well use it for steel production, so I'll go ahead and grab all that. And we'll just bring it over to one of our temporary foundries over here. I never told you guys, but we had recently adopted two little kitties, and they are the cutest little freaking things. 
One of them is extremely rambunctious. The other one is just like a really chill dude, to be honest. Their names are Ami and Suki. Anyway, they love to jump up on my desk and make a freaking mess of everything, but I can't help but fall in love with them. Actually, let me go ahead and uh, when I edit this video, I'll put up some pictures of uh, Ami and Suki for you. Aw, look how cute they are. Aren't they adorable? Alright, I made a basic blueprint here so that I can create the roof of my factory with lights a lot easier. Honestly, I should have made the walls out of blueprints too, I just forgot to. So from every, every factory from now on will probably be mostly blueprints. Just because it makes it a lot easier to put it together and for taking it apart. Oh man, this concrete is just getting used up. It's a good thing I'm making so much of it. Yeah, that's quite a lot nicer than just manually building all that. Oh shit, is this guy going to be trapped in here forever? Or is he going to despawn? Alright, so for a hundred automated wiring, we are going to need a ton of cables and a hundred stators exactly. So I'm going to start working on that first, because that seems easy enough. That's an achievable goal, I think. So I throw cables in this one, and that will mix with the state horrors in this assembler to give us the automated wiring that we need for the tower. For the uh, space elevator, rather. Unfortunately, we're going to need some more coal for the, all this steel production, and I'm kind of wondering if it would be worth it to belt it all the way over from here to the factory, or if I should be making... A steel production plant over here? Hmm. I could even build a road and have a truck take coal from place to place. It's definitely not sustainable for me to manually just go grab the shit every time. Alright, and I've gone ahead and made a belt so that we can send our space elevator parts directly there from the space elevator factory. This is how we do it with shoddy infrastructure, basic factories. But once we get to phase two, oh, we'll unlock more and then we can build more. <laughs> All right, instead of making smart plates, we're going to go back to just taking these resources because honestly, we need them more than we need the smart plates right now, and we'll use the other factory for smart plates when we get to it. For now, we need rotors and we need reinforced plates because I want to expand the power plant because all of these factories are definitely drawing a lot of power. It's not too bad, but it is getting a little bit close to the production here. As you can see, we're fluctuating quite a lot because my factories are very haphazard right now. I would like to, in the future, make everything, you know, with neat numbers. But right now, I'm just going to focus on completing phase two. Oh, it is satisfying to see those numbers go up on their own. Wow, that is a lot of solid biofuel. Maybe I'll make some biomass generators. I mean, I don't know. What else are we going to use them? <laughs> what else are we going to use the biomass for? You know? I want to get more factory action going on in a minute, but in order to do that, we're going to need some more power. So I'm thinking about an expansion or potentially a redesign going for this coal factory. Let's see, how many coal nodes have we got? Okay, there's one more that we haven't tapped into. I mean, shit, we could just double this power output, essentially. Oh, yep, that killed our power grid, but let's just hook these babies back up real quick. 
All right, flip that baby back on and we're good. Sweet. Oh, speaking of which, I really should get a power storage, shouldn't I? Can I make that now? Yeah, just whip up a couple of these skaters, stators. I don't know, man. I'm only an engineer by trade in my actual real life job. This whole time I've been working on the power plant, our uh, space elevator parts have just been increasing in number. You can see we almost have enough of the automated wiring. I'm gonna smack down some power storage here, right in our uh, hub area. That way in case anything happens to the grid or we go over our capacity, the grid hopefully won't shut down. Yes, we've done it. We've got all the automated wires. Yeah, this fucker's still in my factory though. Get out of here, bitch. Oh, he was unfazed. You know what, I respect that. Man's made out of metal. He's got a will of steel. That guy definitely eats a bowl of nails for breakfast. Oh, I got the fucking hiccups, dude. Probably from um, sucking too much di- I keep hearing the sound of like shit in my apartment getting knocked around. And I don't know if it's just the cats or... I don't know, maybe we're being robbed. But... I'm kind of in the middle of something. You know? Can't really be robbed right now. The factory calls for me. I am currently constructing our second set of six coal generators. Six being the magic number that will fully satisfy all generators with water and coal with a pure node and three water extractors. So I'm basically just doing the exact same setup here. And um, yeah, I just need to hook it up to coal now and get our water extractors down. If you've made it this far into the video, please leave a comment and let me know what you think of the factory or the playthrough so far. Uh, I'm experimenting a little bit. I've never done uh, construction quite like this before. I usually honestly just focus on completing all the objectives. And I know I'm doing a little bit of that still, but I'm trying to take a more slow paced and aesthetic type, you know, thing going on. Uh, if you want to know the trick about how to make right angles in this game, you just line it up so that you have both green lines showing that you have 90 degree perfect straight angles, basically, and then go back two notches so one two and then build it and then when you connect the two it'll be a perfect little bend right there nice aesthetics for your oh my god these f motherfucking bouncy backs they're getting their feet all over my factories man just fucking laying turds everywhere and it's it's just not what I'm here for, to be honest with you. Anyway, uh, this needs to be a Mark II. Hook that pump up. Uh, oh, I see the smokestack starting. Yes, it is a beautiful thing. Let me check my power output. Oh, there goes the third one. Oh, I forgot to hook this up to the grid. <laughs> that would explain it. Okay, there we go. Okay, it's fluctuating because I still need to increase the input of coal. Just need a couple more of these reinforced plates that I'll craft real quick. Well, that would explain a little bit of the problem. I forgot to hook up some of them to the water. <laughs> Silly me. Okay, I think it might finally be stabilizing I'm not sure what was going on. I think it was just taking a minute to start up because each coal generator only takes 15 per minute and we are 
using Mark II belts, so we should be inserting at least 120 per minute. So yeah, again, um, not sure what happened, but I think we're all stabilized now. And let me check on our power. Yeah, we're producing double power now. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, my cat just jumped on my desk. Hi, how are you? Can I get a... Can you... For all the folks at home? Oh, she's sitting on my mouse. But yeah, I do think that that will probably be the end of this part, which would be part three. Uh, wow, I didn't notice how much water there is here. This actually is a great place for coal generators. But yeah, we doubled our fuel or our energy output, made this look a little bit nicer. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and take a quick trip back to the factory and go over the changes we went made there. Oh, my cat's fucking with my fan. But yeah, this was a pretty productive session, I think. Even though we lost some footage, uh, I made a lot of progress to make up for that. So next time, I think we'll definitely knock out phase two and uh, keep constructing dedicated factories. That's what I really want to start doing. I'll have to think about how I want to organize each factory. But yeah, you can see that our main factory over here, it's looking quite different. We've got three big buildings going on, a main road. Oh, I missed that jump again. Alright. Here's our little truck station. Yeah, so let me see how our power is doing. Yeah, this is already almost halfway full. Nice. Anyway, gamers and gamets, hope you had a great new year. Uh, Merry Christmas. I don't know why it still says it's Christmas. It's, I mean, it's 2024. I hope you all have had a great start to your 2024. And I'll see you in the next Satisfactory video where we will accomplish great things. Great things indeed. And hopefully all our buildings won't just be cubes or rectangles. Try to add some variety or revise these buildings next time. Anyway, that's me signing out.